Hello Aries. This is Renee and welcome to my channel. Aries, this is going to be your general reading for January the 15th through the 31st. Now my readings are timeless, so whenever you see this reading is when you were meant to receive it. If this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And also, uh, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Okay, Aries. Let's get into your energy. For Aries. We have. Lessons from life. Okay. Let's get some more of your energy, Aries. What is going on with Aries for January 15th through the 31st? We have journal it out. Write how you feel. So yeah, you may be going through some lessons, Aries. And it may be very helpful for you to write out how you're feeling. Write those feelings out on paper. Um kind of release them from your body and put them out on paper. That's a good way of releasing things from your life, especially negative emotions and negative feelings that you may have. Um, you also should take a look at the synchronicities. You may re be receiving a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. You may also be receiving some kind of download. Um, you know, so whatever numbers that you are really seeing repeated lately uh, look those numbers up uh, google those angel numbers and find the meaning uh, because your angels may be telling you something through your dreams what else do we have for aries we have rise up honor your inner Honor your inner focus. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. Okay, and I apologize. I don't have my glasses right now, so I really don't want to get them, get up and get them. So I'm being lazy. Okay, so it's yeah. I'm trying to see. And we also have unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. So yeah, that also goes down with, you know, writing down your feelings, create a journal. Maybe, you know, if you don't want to write down your feelings, create a dream journal. Really focus on the things that you're dreaming about. Um, Kind of take time to go back and take a look at what you've been dreaming. You know, they may give you answers to something that may have been weighing on your mind. You know, um, I feel like that would be very help helpful for you this month, Aries, is, you know, focusing on, on healing through writing and expressing your feelings. Aries <clears throat> what is going on with Aries for January 15th through the 31st spirit give me a message for Aries for January 15th through the 31st we have the king of cups okay so the king is coming out first so there may be love coming in and uh, we also have the ten of swords what is going on here? 
we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's your current situation. And we also have the Two of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, Aries. So we have the Page of Wands on the bottom. So, Aries, let's take a look. I feel like you may have just to let, had to let go of some kind of love situation. Something has just ended in your life. And this, like I said, this could be love. This could be something that you were very passionate about. Um, you put a lot of, of your heart and soul into. Maybe that's the reason why they're saying, you know, Spirit is saying for you to write things down. Because I feel like you're carrying a lot of emotion at this moment. I feel like a lot of things are running through your mind. You're kind of going back and forth with yourself about certain feelings, expressions, maybe even certain events that have transpired in your life that, you know, the past couple days, weeks, or, or so forth. So I, I feel like I feel like even though this ended, I feel like it ended for a purpose because Aries you have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever this was that ended, it ended on your terms. Because I feel like you're in a better place because this ended. I feel like you're really in a good spot for a good beginning. You know what I mean? Um, this could be love. This could also be a job uh, that ended because you may have a new opportunity that's coming forward. And I feel like this is a better paying opportunity. It's going to give you more income. It's going to give you more opportunities. Maybe even more opportunities for advancement if this is a job. If this is love, Aries, I feel like Whatever this was that ended, I feel like it was putting a lot of strain on you financially. I feel like it was taken away from you rather than adding to you, you know. Um, and I feel like because this ended, it's putting you in a better situation. You're able to concentrate more on your finances, on things that you really enjoy doing. It, it's like, it's more or less like, you know, this ended, but now you're free to begin this new venture, this new independence, you know. So I feel like whatever ended isn't as bad as what it could be. Although I know that you may be harboring feelings or maybe even resentment from the situation but I feel like you are in a better place and I see that I, I feel like you see that Aries you do have the two of cups and also the knight of cups coming in for you so I feel like if this is love that's ended this is this is new love coming in so you are not going to be single very long because I feel like love is coming to find you you know um this new love interest, I feel like maybe they have been pursuing you for a while. Maybe they've been holding on to hope that they are going to get their chance soon. You know, um, if this is a new job that you're going into, you may find this new love at this new job or some kind of person may be coming into the job, maybe a contractor or um, client. But I feel like where one path has ended, another one is opening. And I feel like this one is going to bring much more happiness to you. This one is going is much better suited for Aries. You know? Um, tell me more about Aries. Give me some more information about this. What message do we have for Aries for January 15th through the 31st? 
Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands. Oh. We also have the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely. Okay, two tens. One right above the other. So that's very interesting. We also have the Five of Wands. Yeah, the Five of Wands. Okay. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you're you're kind of stuck in these emotions but you also have the six of swords beautiful okay and we have the four of cups on the bottom so like i was feeling aries i feel like you're kind of stuck in your head about the situation that is ending uh you may be reminiscing a lot you may be going back to maybe what caused this the end what's events brought on the situation for you that's why i feel like it's so productive for you to write things out write out your feelings write out how you're feeling yeah you have the the five of cups as well so yeah you're definitely leaving this situation behind but i feel like it's hard it's very hard for you to leave behind but i feel like it's for the good because I feel like you're you are protecting yourself you are protecting yourself Aries and I feel like with this ending I feel like you feel more at ease you're able to stand up strong now you're able to you know go through whatever this is even though you have heartbreak and it may have been a huge conflict that you were going through. I feel like this person argued a lot. This person made you feel very little. Very small at times. I feel like maybe at first you weren't able to see what this person was doing to you. How they were breaking down your confidence slowly. You know? But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're going to have a lot more happiness now that this is ended. A lot more happiness is coming to you. I feel like you're going to be able to find yourself again. You're going to be able to really take care of Aries, you know. Um, but I do feel like with this new love coming through, I feel like your heartbreak will be ending. You're moving away from that. This person who's coming into your life, this Two of Cups, this Knight of Cups, this person is very, very attentive of your emotions. They're very caring. They want to know how you feel, you know? And I feel like this person is going to send you messages. They want to check up on you. They want to make sure that you're okay. Um, they kind of see the heartbreak that you went through. And maybe it was some kind of toxic relationship that you're just moving away from. But I feel like this person is, is very caring. They're very loving. They're really concerned about Aries, you know? And I definitely feel like you're moving away. You're moving into a calmer space. Into feeling more like yourself, you know? As she's going through this boat, I'm really feeling like she's focused. She's really focused on where she's going. She knows she's leaving something that brought a lot of turmoil. And she's moving into something that's more peaceful. And, you know, she she's feeling that. She's taking that in. And I really feel like that's what you're doing, Aries. You're kind of focused on feeling calm. Feeling better. You know? 
Um, and it could be that you haven't had calm for a while. But, yeah, I really feel like calmness is coming, you know. Okay, Spirit, let's clarify a little bit. Spirit, tell me about this King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups? Tell me about this King of Cups energy for Aries. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, we have the uh, the Nine of Wands. So yeah, I feel like with this King of Cups, I feel like you're you're blocking this person. You've set your boundaries, and now you're not gonna you're not gonna budge on them. You're not gonna let your guard down when it comes to comes to this person. I feel like this person kind of pushed you to the last straw. You know, they took their last swipe. And Aries. Tell me about this king. Um, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're healing. You're healing. You're finding your balance, Aries. And it's okay. You're finding your balance. You're healing. You're going into this better place. You're um, following your faith. Finding Aries again. Letting yourself be your spotlight, you know. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles spirit? Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So, with this new beginning, I feel like this is you running away. You're not looking back. You're not even noticing this person. Look, look how they're looking. They're not even noticing what's in front of them anymore. They're not even noticing this King of Cups or this Ten of Swords. They're like, you know, that means nothing. I'm taking my things and I'm moving ahead. And I feel like that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing, Aries. You have took your things, your belongings, and you're just leaving this in the past. You're healing from it. You're healing from that energy. Tell me about this Two of Cups spirit. Who is this Two of Cups? The Six of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, I feel like this new love that's coming through. This new love is coming through. They want to be very helpful. They may help you through a lot, actually. Um, but I feel like this person... This person is giving you something that's very valuable. They want to give you their time, their attention. They also want to deliver a gift to you. They may gift you with something. They may try to buy you flowers or buy you dinner or, you know, give you some kind of generous gesture. But I feel like this person wants to give you something that you didn't have they want to kind of balance the scales it's like they see how much you give and they want to give you a little bit more you know yeah they want to give you a little bit more see this this person this general person he has six pentacles. He's given away four. And he's only leaving two for himself. You know? So I feel like this person wants to give you a little bit more than what you give. But they want to be helpful. They want to be your helpmates. And you may receive a gift from this person. Some kind of generosity that they're giving to you. And I feel like it's going to really brighten your day. What is this? 
Yeah, we have the seven. So we're going from the six to the seven. Wow. So they really want this to grow. They want you to see how generous they really are. They really want to see, they want you to see how much potential they have. It's progressing from the six to the seven, you know? So I feel like whatever the situation is with this Knight of Cups situation, they're really trying to show you, they're really trying to make it known that they're ready to put in the work. They're ready to have patience. Take it very slow, you know? They're ready to tend to your garden. You know, tend to your emotions. Make you feel wanted, accepted, appreciated. You know, I feel like they're going that extra mile for you to see that. They're progressing from the six to the seven. Spirit, tell me about this seven of wands. What is this seven of wands? Tell me about this seven of wands. The hermit. Yeah, you no longer have to protect yourself. I feel like you've already blocked this person. You've already set your boundaries. You're not letting this person back into your life. You know, you've already protected yourself. You're defending your honor. You've already got victory for that. You're already, you know, moving into a better situation. You're already standing here victorious. You've made it through this battle. And I feel like with the Hermit card, you've gained this wisdom. You've, you have the Hermit and the Star. The Star is inside the hermit's, lan the, the hermit's Lantern. You know, he's carrying the Star. Because he's following, not only by his wisdom, he's also following by his intuition. He's shining his spotlight, you know. And I feel like that's what you're doing. I feel like you may go it alone. To find your inner guidance. To find that inner wisdom. But I feel like you've gained your healing. Through all of that. You've gained your healing. Tell me about this. Ten of Pentacles. What is this Ten of Pentacles? The judgment. Yeah. You feel. With the judgment card. You feel like. After leaving this situation. After leaving this Ten of Swords. You're going through your healing. You know, you feel like you're in a better place. You feel like you're in a renewed spirit. This is a rebirth. This is a beginning. This is the beginning of the new Aries. You know, you're able to focus on yourself. You're able to focus on what you believe in, what you want to do. You know, you're, you're ready to be this free spirit that's going out into the world, making your own decisions, making your own um way you know and i feel like even if it's something that you're not used to you're doing just fine with it you're finding your way just fine tell me about this five of wands what is this five of wands situation the strength yeah from whatever conflict whatever situation that you were going through you were strong enough to endure. You were you have the strength. You have the the self-love, the self-respect. You're gaining your courage in the situation. You may have had courage to move away from the situation. You know, and I feel like you're learning to love yourself. You're learning to love you again, Aries. Okay, tell me about this Three of Swords. The Ace of Wands, definitely. This heartbreak is the past. This heartbreak, being discouraged, being in doubt, that's all the past. You have a definite new beginning. And you have a new fire that is 
guiding you through this, you know. Um, you have a new passion. This is also a new beginning, you know. It's new inspiration. You're creating a new vision. A new vision for where you want yourself to be. A new vision for where you're going. For maybe who you want to be with. Who you see yourself with. Um, I feel like it's a, a new passion. I feel like with this love that's coming through. Not only do they kind of make you not even think about this heartbreak. They're creating a fire within you. This may be something that's very passionate, very inspiring. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Tell me about this Six of Swords spirit. The world. Yeah. As, as one cycle ends, a new cycle completes. You have so many indications of a, of a very inspiring new beginning. Along with the world... We also have completion, but we also have success. So you're successful at moving into this calmer situation. This cycle is ended. This doubt, this heartbreak has ended and you've, you're moving on from the situation. You may still need healing because you do have the star here. You may still ha need healing, but that's why I'm saying write you a journal write down your feelings release those feelings into the universe don't hold those feelings to yourself very beautiful energy at the bottom you also have the lovers so definitely love is coming through to save the day Aries very beautiful energy and yeah you also have the chariot so you're moving into this new direction. You're moving into this new direction that's going to carry you further. It's going to carry you further. I want to take a few more cards for an outcome. And just because I'm curious, Aries. I'm curious where this is going. <clears throat> Spirit, and give me another, some more message for um, Aries. Give me some more messages for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Tell me what Aries needs to know. The justice. Yeah, whatever this person did to you, they, they have their karma. Karma's coming back to them. And they feel like they're left out in the cold. This person that hurts you is going to have the same thing done to them. They're going to feel the pain of, of losing you, just like you're feeling doubts and pains. And I feel like with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like it's going to be a slow process that they go through. All these feelings are going to stick with them for a while. They're going to feel that karma and it's going to kind of endure. It's not going to... It's not going to uh, ease up too quickly. Because they're getting their karma in the situation. Whatever you put out into the world is what the world is going to give you back. So if you're giving nothing but controlling energy. Nothing but doubts and fears. If you're belittling a person... Um, Causing them to feel pain. That pain is eventually going to catch up with you. And I feel like that's exactly what this is doing. And I feel like it's going to be a slow, agonizing process. It's not going to ease up real fast. This person is going to feel it. They're going to feel it. They're going to feel what you're going through. I'm not trying to be mean, but that's exactly what they're going to do. They're, they're going to feel... Exactly what you're going through, Aries, is exactly what they're going to go through. I feel like it's it's going to come back and bite them. Your power and intention. I, I feel like this person was trying to take your power. This person was trying to 
belittle you to control your life. It may have been a toxic relationship, but I feel like you are taking your power back, Aries. Power and intention. You know, Aries is very powerful. Aries is a leader. You know, when you think about the tarot cards, Aries is the emperor. You know, they know all, see all. You know, very powerful, very courageous. So I feel like you're taking your power back, Aries. Yeah, you're manifesting something better. Something better is coming into your life. Yeah, we also have vulnerability and freedom. Yeah, so where, where you're feeling this heartbreak, you're also free. You freed yourself from this situation. Okay, let's see. I want to get some healing cards for Aries. Give me a message for Aries, please. Message for Aries. Oops. I've been dropping cards all week. Okay. Yeah, we have balance. So, where this situation has ended, now you're gaining balance. And you're also gaining perception. So, you may be seeing exactly where this situation, where this situation has, like, took a turn. You know? Uh, give me some more messages for Aries, please. We have deep cellular healing. Physical and emotional healing. Definitely, definitely. I feel like that's what you're going through. You're going through a great healing at this time. We also have earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother. Slow down. Time and nature. So yeah, not only start a, a journal. You may also want to spend more time in nature. Just take a few walks. You know, get out there and enjoy the breeze. Enjoy nature. That always brings you more of a feeling of groundness. You also have star family. So you're part of a team of souls call in support yeah if you feel like you need to be supported call in your support family call in people who love you people who want you to be surrounded by care love guidance you know be supported okay Aries if you have a question please ask your question now and we will get an answer for you. Actually, we've already got one card that come out. But if you're interested in ans asking a question, Aries, ask that now. Okay, we have be assertive. So this is the time for you to take action, Aries. It's very important for you to take action. What else do we have for Aries? Get more information. And listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Let your inner guides communicate with you. And your question, your answer is yes. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And um, Aries, until the next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.